For this example, a rectangle of foam was used and a 2 mm piece of cork added. The cork was fixed in place with ultra glue, applied using a number 6 synthetic round brush. The piece was set in place and allowed to dry. For this scene where a section of road is being created, the asphalt texture was used. The asphalt textured paste should be stirred before each use. Using a spatula wetted in water, the texture was distributed over the cork surface. The paste was then worked to make it as flat as possible. The spatula was then wetted and the ground made smooth. The asphalt texture was then allowed to dry for 24 hours. To imitate the painted lines on the road, the stripes were masked off with masking tape 2 and 3. The entire surface was covered, with the exception of the lines to be painted. The color yellow was used to paint the dividing lines. The lines were airbrushed in thin layers to prevent pooling or leaking masks. Allow the paint to dry for half an hour before removing the mask. A white pencil was then used to draw cracks in the asphalt. A scriber and a punch were used to engrave the cracks by perforating the texture. The asphalt was then removed until the cork was reached. To imitate a pothole in the road, a larger hole was made. By removing areas of the cork material, a highly realistic pitted surface was created. Using Starship wash diluted with enamel odorless thinner, a wash was added to the cracks. A fine grit sandpaper was then used to simulate wear on the asphalt. To remove the dust generated by sanding, the surface was rubbed with a wet fingertip. This serves to unify all previous work. A typical road patch was also added, beginning by masking off the area. Again, the asphalt texture was used by applying it as shown previously. It is important to use a small amount to avoid a step or an out-of-scale appearance. Simply allow the asphalt texture to dry before carefully removing the masking tape with tweezers.